continuing on with our second card in these eight days UFC. I mean, listen, there's a lot going on. And we have another really good fight at 135 pounds between Ricky Simone and Ray Borg. And Matt, if we really start the timer here, I mean, Ray Borg was a guy that was going to be coming in originally scheduled to be on the April 18th UFC 249 card against Marlon Vera. That fight ended up getting shuffled around. Vera gets a new oppo opponent, and Ray Borg also gets another opponent. In Ricky Simone, and Ricky Simone's a really interesting type of case study because in his last two fights, they have not gone well. I can say that easily. He lost to Rob Font, really good power puncher. Great fight, though. Lost to Uriah Faber in a fight that a lot of people, myself included, thought that he'd probably win. He had a number next to his name at the time as well. So now you're really trying to restart, and you're taking on Ray Borg, a guy who's won two fights in a row. His last fight, he beat Rogerio Bontarin. But I'm here to tell you something that a lot of Ray Borg fans aren't going to like. Ray Borg missed weight in that fight, and now he's going to try and kickstart his career again at 135 pounds. Rogerio Bontarin in that fight fasted for the entire week to make 125 pounds and got absolutely wrestled hmm, in that fight by Ray Borg. Ray Borg's a great wrestler. We know that. And at 125 pounds, he got himself a title shot doing it. But at 135 pounds against Ricky Simone, truth be told, with a minute left, I don't think it's going to translate. So it's a really interesting story of Ray Borg because he had beat Juicy Formiga and then he was fighting Demetrius Johnson. And I know he got beaten every single round, but he showed a lot of really positive things in that fight. The thing that worries me, though, is Ray Borg's style doesn't really translate all that well to 135. Because when you look at 135ers, I don't know about you, but in my head, bantamweights are so much bigger than flyweights compared to, for instance, the difference between a bantamweight and a featherweight. And Ray Borg's style is very much wrestle, scramble, wrestle, scramble. That works really well when you're the same size as everyone or you're a little overweight. When you're fighting guys who are a lot bigger than you, because let's say even if Ray Borg beats Ricky Simone, okay, who does he fight next? Maybe Rob Font? you can't tell me you'd favor Ray Borg in that fight at all. Ricky Simone is a really bad matchup for Ray Borg, I at least believe, because he has really good wrestling defense. We saw that in the Marab Devalshvili fight. We saw that in the Ryan Yaya fight. I know you're a big fan. Sorry to bring that one up. But Ricky Simone's really good at defending takedowns. And on the feet, yes, Rob Font was able to outpoint him on the feet in a really fun fight. And Uriah Faber was able to knock him out in a pretty much a one-punch knockout. So we didn't really get to see a lot from that fight. I think Ricky Simone's going to win this fight very handily just because Ray Borg at 135, I just don't really know what to expect from him. And I mean, Ricky Simone coming in as a minus 160 favorite right now, Ray Borg plus 130, kind of surprised by those odds too, because again, a lot of these fights you're going to see are on short notice. So there could be wild discrepancies in odds. There could be odds that are way too close for comfort, but this is one of those ones that I'm surprised how close they are. And yeah, I get it. I mean, Borg's won two in a row. Simone's lost two in a row. But look at that reach. I mean, Ricky Simone with a six-inch reach advantage. And maybe that doesn't play a huge factor in a lot of Ray Borg's fights because he's typically pushing the pace, pushing the pace. But Ricky Simone's one of those guys that can also sustain that pace. He can win in the scrambles. He's going to be the bigger guy at 135 pounds. And again, I think Ricky Simone can build himself back up to have a number next to his name. I really do. I don't think that's way too far outside of the question. And I know there's a lot of Taz Mexican Devil fans out there, but I just think this one's tailor-made for Simone win. So Ricky Simone trains with this guy named Austin Vanderfort. Many people might know him as Mr. Van Zandt. Kind of the perfect training partner if you're going to fight Ray Borg because he's just a much, much bigger version of Ray Borg. So if you're training with a guy like that day in and day out to prep for this fight, I can't really think of a more perfect guy to sort of emulate Ray Borg. So I think Reggie Simone's going to be extremely prepared even if this is on short notice, and I think it's going to be a fairly easy win for him. Very interesting fight, and there's a lot of great ones in these three oh. UFC cards coming up shortly. Make sure you check them out with Fight Night Picks. Stay tuned in. Two minutes, which we normally go over for the prelims and the main card. Five minutes for our main events. Matt, as we always say with Fight Night Picks, let's, let's get, get into it. it.